Buffalo Fanatics, what's going on? It's your boy DM3 back with another video. Today's topic is who is the true underdog wide receiver this season? Last year we had Brandon Riley. A couple seasons ago everybody was rooting for Hogan. Who's it going to be this year? I've narrowed it down to two guys and I think that you guys will all agree with me on these two cats. First off, we got Duke Williams, CFL star. Duke Williams went to Auburn, went undrafted, you know, had some off field issues, didn't get invited to the combine, played with a huge, huge, huge chip on his shoulder in the CFL, was the CFL's player of the year with the Edmonton Eskimos, was absolutely balling out. Edmonton said, hey, you know what? We're going to release you because we want you, we want you to have a chance to go to the NFL. That's your dream. That's your goal. We're going to let you go ahead and do that. Get back to him in a minute. The other guy is someone who I think a lot of people are rooting for and seems to be a fan favorite, and that's David Sills V. Um, I think this guy is going to come into camp with a huge, 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 huge chip on his shoulder. Went undrafted. You know, 32 teams passed over him set through seven rounds of the draft. You know, the Bills swooped him up real quick after the draft ended. Brandon Bean said, all right, you know what? We're going to give you a shot. And the kid has an amazing work ethic. You know, he led all of college football in touchdowns last year, receiving touchdowns last year. You know, he was Will Greer's favorite target. You know, he always seemed to be open, always seemed to make big plays in big games. Um, West Virginia, you know, seemed like he's he's the guy that everybody, I, I think, is is given the edge to um, in the wide receiver um undrafted wide receiver camp of course this all comes on the stems of robert foster last year coming out of nowhere where everybody during camp was kind of like keep an eye on this foster guy you know this foster guy he, he he's he's a burner he's fast you know went to alabama won a national title um but he didn't have the big numbers in alabama um obviously he was on alabama so everybody's good so he had to buy his playing time he find his playing time so why I think these two guys are going to be the two that are the underdog stories because Duke Williams has something to prove. He's already come out in interviews saying that I got something to prove and this, this time I'm not letting my chance go by. You're going to see a big difference in my game. You're going to see a big difference in my attitude. And I really think Duke Williams can be the guy that the Bills thought they had in Kelvin Benjamin. Red zone threat contested catch guy um he's not going to beat you down the field he's got four seven speed but you know what you throw a ball up he's going to go get it he's got a huge wingspan just absolutely length length everywhere um and then you got david sills who's quick you know he can get open too and he can make big plays too so it's going to be really interesting i'd love to see what your guys take is drop it in the comments below i want to kind of see where you guys think um which one has the edge over the other right now we've only just come off the heels of you know rookie minicamp um, I've heard good things about both it's just gonna be really interesting to see if we have room on this really really packed wide receiver roster you know we have we just signed John Brown we just signed Cole Beasley we have Zay Jones we have Robert Foster we still have Isaiah McKenzie um, the list goes on and on there's other guys in there too so it'll be really interesting it's gonna be fun to watch we're gonna have a really 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 great battle at the wide receiver position this year something we can't say that we had last year so it's gonna be awesome to watch let me know what you guys think i'm gonna read all the comments and if you guys again if you haven't subscribed go ahead and subscribe hit that notification bell give me a thumbs up and i'm dm3 i'll see you on the next one no i'm on fire if you don't know I'll be, you better ask somebody